hi, I'm Rena Popat from Cartobon Solicitors and in this video I will take you through the elements that would help you determine the true value of a dental practice, comply with statutory requirements of the UK's General Dental Council and ascertain which warranties or indemnities will be needed in your sale and purchase agreement. Due diligence is of paramount importance when buying any business, but when purchasing a dental practice there are various additional factors that come into play. Firstly, let's talk about the practice. When investing in a dental practice, the first element to consider is the value of the practice itself. This means examining factors such as the practice's capitalisation of earnings, number of patients and number of patient retention rate. To gauge the true worth of the practice, be sure to investigate whether there are any pending issues such as patient grievances or lawsuits as these will incur additional costs for you after completion unless you are given full indemnity in the sale and purchase agreement. Goodwill also con contributes to a business's value. Any pending liabilities may affect the practice's goodwill, as will the seller's future plans. For example, if the seller is setting up a new practice near to the one you're buying, this will detract from the practice's goodwill. It is also essential to verify the practice is fully compliant with all regulation. If there are any instances of non-compliance following completion of the transfer, you may be held responsible for these breaches. Secondly, find out about the staff policies and relationships. The employees at a dental practice play a major role in regulatory compliance and maintaining goodwill. It is therefore imperative that you carefully review any performance reviews or records of patient feedback before completion and that you know all employment terms of any self-employed or associate employees. Make sure you verify all the employees are GDC registered with up-to-date qualifications. Thirdly, make sure the documentation with regards to the property are in order. Along with the usual due diligence investigations into property, it is also critical to check the necessary permits have been secured for the property to operate as a dental practice. Without permission from the local planning authority, you could be served an enforcement notice after the transfer, preventing the property from being used as a dental practice. As with any property purchase, a professional valuer should be engaged to check the condition, maintenance and market value of the property. Fourthly, check what equipment the practice uses. The right equipment is essential in a dental practice. Be sure to confirm what equipment is included in the sale and check whether there are any leases on or against the equipment. You should then have an appraiser verify the value and condition of the equipment and review all maintenance and repair records. Importantly, ensure the equipment meets all the GDC's regulatory standards. And finally, evaluate their current contracts and insurance policies. The overall value of the practice is also affected by its contracts with the NHS, suppliers and service providers. Insurance is also key, so all policies must be examined to ensure the practice is properly insured with all policies in the right name and all premiums fully paid up. Certain nuances and unique factors are inherent in the sale or purchase of any specialist business, particularly a dental practice, where regulatory compliance is critical. That's why it's important to seek legal guidance from experts in your niche industry. For more information or expert advice, on business or personal legal issues, contact us at Carter Bond.